are going to learn something new. How to make sentences. Why do we want to make sentences? If you want to speak in English, you need to frame sentences. Do you like to speak in English? Yes, let's do a try here. In your classes, you have learned letters. How many letters you learned? Letters from A to Z. 26 letters you learned in your LKG classes. After that, your teachers taught you how to form words using these letters. Words are formed by combining these letters. For example, B, A, T, bat. When we put them together, you make a word, bat. How can you make the word sun? S, A, M, sun. You make the word. The next one is fox. You know to join them and make a sentence. If ma'am is going to ask you how to separate the words, take out the S, take out the U, take out the N. No more words, they all are letters. So from letters to words. And in today's class, we are going to frame sentences. Do you know what you mean by sentences? Sentences are simple. Complete collection of words. A group of words joined together meaningfully gives you a sentence. I will give you an example. If you ask me, what's your name? I can say it in two ways. Usha. But is it a sentence? No. How I have to answer? I have to answer, my name is Usha. I use Four words to form a sentence. I use four words. Like that, combination of all the words in a meaningful way gives you a sentence. So, a sentence needs a subject, an action and a punctuation. We will talk about it very in detail in the coming classes. So, children, let us build some sentences now. Can you see my letter board here? My word board basically. There are so many letters as well as words here. Let me read some of them for you. The, small, you, ball, the, student, and like that. This board is full of words. We are going to make the first sentence. Before starting the sentence, I have three rules for you. Rule number one, always start the sentence with a capital letter. Always start the letter with a capital letter. Rule number two, always keep a space between words. Always keep a space between words. And last rule, always put a punctuation at the last. Always put a punctuation at the last. That shows your sentence is finished. Shall we do the first sentence? Can you see a picture here? Here is a boy and he is having a ball in his hand. Shall we make a sentence with that? For that, let us read the words in the first row. Ball The is a dot. This dot is called a full stop. This is the punctuation. Has a boy. So, remember rule number one. Start the sentence with the capital letter word. Here, which one is the capital? Yes, it is this. The. What is this? The. I'm going to put the here. The boy. What is it? Boy. The boy has. Has. The boy has a. The boy has a boy. Don't forget the rule number three. 
Always put the punctuation. Full stop. Now let us build the sentence. The boy has a ball. Full stop. The three rules. I started the sentence with the capital letter. And I gave a space in between all the words. And I stopped the sentence with the punctuation. Full stop. Let's see the second picture. Can you see a girl here? Do you know? She's my sister. She's my sister. So I'm going to make a sentence saying she is my sister. Before that, let's read the words here. Punctuation. M my she is sister. So let us start the sentence with she. She is put a gap my sister. And the punctuation at the last. Let's read it again. Capital letter to start with. She, gaps are there, is my sister, full stop. And the last picture, can you see a handsome man here? He is my father. I am going to say that he is my father. Let me start with he. You remember the high frequency word? He, he is my father and the full stop. So I made three sentences. I built three sentences. Picture number one, the boy has a ball. Picture number two, she is my sister. Picture number three. He is my father. I started the sentence with the capital letter and I gave proper spaces in between and I stopped the sentence with a full stop. That's called the punctuation. This is how you build a sentence. Hope you got it very well and try making sentences. Children, shall I ask you some questions? Will you give me the answers in sentences? Here it goes. My question is, who is this? When it is a question, I will put the punctuation question mark. Who is this? Answer is, this is Dora. And put a full stop when you write. This is Dora. So who is this? This is Dora. My next question is, what is this? What is this? This is a flower. This is a flower. Can I speak about it more? This is a red flower. What's the name of this flower? This is a red rose. Again, this is a red rose. See, I have included five words to get a beautiful, meaningful sentence. Next one. What is this? When you answer, you can say a simple sentence. This is a pen. This is a pen. Can I describe it more? This is a red pen. This is a red pen. 
And the last one. Walk. What is this? What is this? This is a flower. What is this? This is a flower. Children, hope you understood how to make sentences or how to build sentences. Always think before you speak something. Speak meaningful sentences. Okay? And how to form a sentence? Sentences are formed by using meaningful words. So children, before I wind up, let me remind you how a sentence is built. A sentence is built by combining meaningful words. And how the words are formed? By combining proper letters. And when you write sentence, you have to remember the three rules. Rule number one. Always use capital letter in the beginning. Rule number two. Always put a space between two words. And rule number three. Always put a punctuation at the end of the sentence. Hope you will build more sentences and send to us. 